glad to have you guys doing. All right, this week we're going to talk about flow. What is flow? Flow is it's it's simply the visual um, and verbal paths. So basically, it's the path the eye follows, the intended path the eye follows through a composition, and that intended path is based on hierarchy. So hierarchy and flow go hand in hand. Okay, and all of the principles that we've studied thus far all point to good hierarchy. Good hierarchy assists in good flow. So basically we use flow to structure the reader's experience. Okay, so flow is basically our intended plan of guiding a, a viewer through any specific composition. Okay, there's, there's uh, the, the benefits of flow are this, it's, it allows the viewer to analyze the message, the purpose of the message, allows visuals, um, visuals to support the message, and it allows very much, probably most importantly, allows to uh, a great way to establish a visual hierarchy. Um, so again, we see hierarchy used with the word flow, the two go hand in hand. Um, it's much easier with a good flow and good hierarchy. It's a lot easier for the mind to organize things, and that's what we're after, good organization. Any communication requires good organization. Otherwise, the viewer or the recipient is not able to perceive the intended message. That's a very, very important point. Okay, so it's all about organization, guys. Um, so we've got two different types of flow. We've got verbal flow and we've got visual flow. So verbal flow basically has to do with the, um, the order in which the audience reads the text. Okay, so we have a few different tricks at our disposal um, in, in order to establish a logical reading path. Um, the first is to place the headlines, you know, the placement of the headlines. So the headline is, you know, we're talking about proximity here. So the way that the way that things are placed together in a composition dictates the, to the flow to the degree that things that are placed closer together in proximity are more closely related to each other. So this is how we establish a logical reading path. Okay, you wouldn't put um, a a feature that is, let's say it's a, a a product ad. You wouldn't put a feature at the top of the ad and then place another feature down at the bottom of the ad. You would include those together since they are, have a high degree of of uh, common relationship. Um, of course, you know our basic rules are are choose to easy to read typefaces. Um, and keep in mind the difference between readability and legibility here. Legibility is um, how easy it is to be. Um, the, the, the legibility kind of refers to the, the typeface itself. Is it easy to decipher the B from the D, for example? Uh, where readability is the way the type is set. Okay, so you can have a perfectly legible typeface and it's not readable because the type is not set well. Okay, makes sense. Um, of course, avoid columns that are too narrow, too wide, and avoid extra letting or solid letting. Letting, of course, is the space between what, guys? Letting is the space between the lines of type, and kerning is the space between individual letters. Kerning is as closely associated with tracking. Kerning is the in, the letter the space between individual letters, whereas tracking is the space between letters and the entire word. So you're adjusting kerning individually, but you're adjusting tracking as um, a way to adjust the spacing between the entire uh, the letters and the entire word. Um, and of course, again, we're referring back to proximity by saying keeping listed items together. Um, and then we have visual flow. Visual flow is basically, it's the thing that we see when we look at an ad. So we jump over to the course announcement. We take a look at our example on flow. So flow right now, right now this flow is going left to right. Okay, we've got this, this leading line right here. So this is the main graphic right here. It takes us to the head. The head moves left to right, and that flow is also reinforced by the direction of the zipper. Okay, so we're moving generally left to right. We've got this center line right here that actually reinforces this left, uh, this right margin where this is all uh, right aligned. Okay, so this leading line brings us down here. We talk about the flow of a reverse S and we can clearly see it here. So we're coming like this, like this, and like this. And that's only one of the theories about how the eye reads, uh, 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 travels through a composition is in that, in that backwards S path. Um, it, the basic general rule of thumb is that what you want to know about composition and the way that we peruse a composition is this, the viewer enters in the upper right, moves from left to right, top to bottom, and exits over here. That's why in a lot of advertising, we'll see a, a, a logo placed in the lower 
right hand corner it's a great exit strategy it reinforces branding as the viewer is exiting the ad in that area anyways right okay so that's flow um another interesting uh, thing is, is that you want to create flow left to right okay and we can see that example here this flow is left to right if this ad were reversed um, it would slow down the ad considerably and it would make it a little bit more cumbersome to follow so the, the general rule of thumb here is that movement from left to right enhances flow so if you have a um, let's say you have a, 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 an image of a, a, a profile of a face and you place the profile on the left hand side and you use the eyes to the leading line to the headline okay that composition is going to move much slower than if that same silhouette were reversed um, or profile were reversed and placed on the left hand side of the page where the leading line leads to the um to the uh a headline and again the example here is if this were reversed this movement would slow down considerably it would make it a little bit less harm harmonious okay um we also have the use of um, uh, visual flow and a way to assist hierarchy is the use of drop caps pull quotes tint boxes and bullets and those are all covered in your reading so please make yourself very very familiar with uh with those elements okay guys so that's uh, the principle of flow um again the, the main takeaway here is flow there's two different uh, uh factors to to uh consider in flow that is visual flow and verbal flow and again flow is very 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 highly connected to hierarchy and again both lead to good page harmony Okay, guys, that's it on flow. Any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any uh, clarifications. Thanks.